Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com, here to bring you the new moon forecast for our new moon in Gemini occurring on Friday, May 22nd at 1239 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. I'm using the Morgan Greer deck today, and I have asked the question. What are the messages and what is the guidance that is most helpful for us to assist us through best traversing the energy of this new moon for May 2020? And I've already pulled four cards for us. I'm going to discuss these individually and then put this reading all together for us. So the first card is the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is very much about the beginning of a journey that takes us into smoother, calmer, more tranquil waters. This is the beginning of a journey that takes us into a more peaceful, easier time. It speaks of smooth paths ahead. Now, the Six of Swords is very much about healing that comes to us through our mental capacities and through our emotional avenues. This is healing that begins to take place mentally within us, psychologically within us, and emotionally within us before it spreads out into other areas of our lives and assists us with moving forward in a healthy, peaceful, calm way. The next card is the Empress. The Empress tells us that this is going to be a good time to focus on our home lives, to focus on our relationships, to focus on our physicality, ourselves in the physical world, things that relate to our five senses, our tactile senses, things that relate to beauty, the beauty of our homes, the beauty of our nurturing relationships, the beauty of our connection to nature, the beauty of nature. This is about abundance, fertility, prosperity, creativity. The Empress tells us that kind of energy is going to be available to us in abundance, which will allow us to create and shape the world around us that we seek. This talks to us about our home life, but also about our connection to the earth itself, to life itself. How are you experiencing and celebrating beauty within your home life, within your everyday life? How are you experiencing and celebrating beauty within your connection to nature? How are you interacting with creativity? How are you interacting with the energies of prosperity and abundance at this time? The Empress card tells us that there is great beauty in the material, physical world and that sometimes the best medicine we can engage in is to connect to that physical world and connect to the beauty that we can only experience being here materialized in a physical body connected to nature in the here and now. It's very much about grounding and it very much reminds us of the kinds of energy that is available to us through grounding, the creativity, the prosperity, the fertility. The next card is the moon. The moon card lets us know that this is going to be a powerful new moon for our spiritual and psychic connections. It's going to be a good time to connect with our spirit guides, our ancestors, our guardian spirits, things of this nature. It's also going to be an excellent time to explore our psychic avenues, to practice our divination, to pay attention to our dreams, to develop psychically and spiritually. But the moon card always brings with it a little bit of a caveat, a little bit of a warning. And the moon card says, go for a swim, but don't get swept out to sea. Don't get in too deep. Don't get in over your head. Do not engage in anything at this time that is likely to bring you more confusion or to bring you more questions than answered. Don't get too deep into fantasy 
or mystery. Make sure that you go into this time with a clear mind and with groundedness, with focus, with centeredness. If at any time during this new moon or during your spiritual or psychic explorations or practices during this new moon time, you should feel confused or paranoid or begin to feel depressed, make sure that you just stay aware of the fact that what you need is to clear your mind and ground, ground yourself. The Empress is telling us to go ahead and go into this new moon being grounded, being centered, being stable, because it's going to be a powerful time psychically and spiritually. And we need to make sure that we're prepared for that, especially if we're going to be um, set the intention to work on those kinds of connections or to practice those kinds of practices during this new moon. Be prepared. The star card ends our reading, and this is really a beautiful ending. And the star speaks to us of our inspiration, um, but also of our perceptions. The star card tells us, yes, it's good to be idealistic, but don't be too idealistic. Remember that you are not completely made of the heavens. You are also here and now on the earth at this time. You can channel the heavens, you can channel that energy, you can channel that connection, but still you're on the ground. You're connected to the earth first and foremost. So the star card brings us back down to earth a little bit, but also reminds us that we can only manifest, we can only achieve that which we can imagine in the first place. So the star card encourages us to think bigger, to see bigger, to dream bigger, to examine where we may be stuck in our own perceptions, to examine where we may be asking for a little bit less than what we can really truly manifest or maybe a little bit less than what we truly truly deserve. The star card says, just imagine bigger and see what that does for you. But at the same time, don't get too carried away by idealism that's going to make things impossible for you to achieve or to manifest. So there's a lot going on in this reading that's about staying grounded and staying close to nature, staying connected to the earth, staying connected to the physical world around you, reveling in and enjoying the beauty and the connection and the spirit that's available to you through the physical world and through your um, five senses and your connection with the earth, your connection to your own physical body, your own physical being, your own physicality, such as the pleasures of dancing, the pleasures of beautifying your home, the pleasures of growing a garden, really asking you to kind of center in on that world around you. How can you touch base a little bit deeper with the nurturing energies available to you through that physical space right now? Going into this new moon, it may be a time where we have a stronger potential to get knocked a little bit further off balance than usual, especially with our psychic connection and our spiritual connection. It's going to be a very powerful time for that. But stay grounded, stay present, and when you do, there's going to be a lot of really beautiful, soothing, calming, healing energy available to you through this new moon. When you're able to do those things to stay grounded, stay clear in your mind, and you will, you will then be able to embrace this healing energy that's available to you. And at that point, you're going to be able to see the bigger picture in a new way. You're going to be able to see your personal dreams and visions, your personal goals in a new way, in a bigger way. And you're going to have the, the vision, the imagination in order to really begin to manifest in a new way. This is possible for you when you stay grounded in your physical world, when you bring yourself to center, and you're able to focus on channeling that spiritual connection or on feeling that spiritual connection in a different way because you are grounded. 
because you are on the material plane. So it's about learning the balance between those two and how they really work in conjunction, how they really work in harmony for you that you can't have one without the other and how through connecting to and harnessing both of those energies being in between spirit and the earth being this conduit how that allows you a different connection and a different imagination and a different manifestation so this is going to be a great moon for balancing and a great moon for balancing the energies within you in terms of your spiritual and energetic connection this is going to be leading us into further healing as well as further manifestations of our dreams happy new moon and stay blessed